Hey guys, this is Real Appalachia with Shane. And Melody. Today we're coming at you from Ledger County, Kentucky. That's right. Flaming neon. Yes. Yeah, not flaming neon. Like you want to say. Yes. And you've tortured me with the whole trip over here, but yes, flaming neon. Flaming neon. And it has such a cool story about how it got its name. But there's also like some flood damage yeah. and some neat places to show. So uh, you do not want to miss this video. A lot to see here, but also if you don't stick around, you won't hear the great story of how it got its name. And That's exactly she's right. She's just dying to tell us all. So That's right. please let her tell her story. Yes. It's not hurting you. And please give us a comment, a thumbs up, a share, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. That's right. Let's get on the road and take a look at Fleming Neon. <laughs> <laughs> Flaming neon, yes. <laughs> We're starting here at Junction Drive In, heading into Fleming Neon. I see, I thought it was Flaming Neon. Flaming. So it's Fleming Neon? 
Yeah. What did you think? Like a big fire had happened or something? No, I just thought it was a really cool name. Like a flaming neon sign or something. I don't know. Boy, this is hard hit too, isn't it? Yes, but that building is like really, you can tell it's a historic building. I know. It looks like an old Sad. hotel or something back in the day. I loved it. Yeah. I did too. I've only been here once before, I believe. And I've never been here. I've never been here. We've so. passed by it several times. Are you going to tell the story of how Neon got the name Neon? I'll let you do it since you can. I always botch, botch it. I know exactly what it is, but when I say it, it doesn't come out the way it best, best way it was. Okay, well, Fleming used to be a city called Chip, and that became Fleming. And it was built up and served as a trading center for nearby coal towns. And then the train that hauled the coal from Fleming would make stops in Neon. And local, local tradition says that the conductor would holler out for people that was getting on board the train, Neon. Yeah, get your knees up on there. Yeah, like get your knee up on there. And so it become Neon. Yeah, and then they mashed the two, two towns together. Yeah. At some point. And, and I guess the the original one that was called Chip, it was kind of like between the two and it just kind of merged it together. Yeah. yeah. So in 1977 is when it officially merged into Fleming Neon. Yeah. And we're about to head into the downtown area of Fleming Neon. So. Yeah. Perfect timing. Pretty cool. Yeah. I love stories like that of how a town got its name. I know. It sounds and so I much like Hayside. So Hayside, hey, where the guy. Yes, hey, that's what si. it made me think of. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I know. Hit the road hard. Swore in potholes, man. Yeah, this has been hard hit from the flooding, too. There's a neon theater, which is really cool. Unite Church. Looks like a cool church there. So they still got the. Busy Bee Neon Theater. Well, that was neat. Yeah, Tim Hall Memorial Park. Yeah. Fleming Neon Strong. So, mm -hmm. you can see this downtown area. It, it had been hit pretty hard just economically before the flooding. So, mm -hmm. that certainly didn't help anything. But Yeah, it doesn't look like there was many. Oh, the library. Oh, the the library's closed down and everything. Yeah, the last time I came through, like, that was an antique store, and I went in there, and so it really, the flooding did put a stake in its heart, you know. See, I would have thought maybe there wasn't a whole lot down here, because it just, it just seemed so empty. Yeah, well, and it, in fairness, it was pretty empty, too, but that didn't help anything, so we'll just stop and show a little bit of that downtown section. Yeah, let's do that. We'll drive up here in just a minute and then head that way. Fleming Meal's pretty sprawling place and because I guess it was two towns then they get up here they get to Jack Horn and there's a couple other things up this way but mm -hmm. not going to have a chance to get down here today I don't think and it's a home rule class city and it is in Letcher County yeah. and the population is around 750 or so that's bigger than I was um, expecting so yeah actually I'm sorry it's uh 550, 550 okay. yeah so and it's went down from the last census around 770 750. you have so. to think too the flooding drives some people out too I mean unfortunately <laughs> yeah I mean you have to think about stuff like that that you know you love your home area it's just like I love Homemaker, yeah. but there's not really any jobs in the area, so I felt like I needed to move. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, well, you just slowly migrate away, and then other people do too. And the next thing you know, you look back, and you know, um, half the people you know are gone in yeah. a very short amount of time sometimes. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to think about building a nice home that might get washed away. So, yeah, yeah, that's the thing when you commit to that, it's you know, it's it's, it's not just financially, and it is, it's financially devastating, yeah, but it's emotionally devastating too. It's to think. Man, I don't yes. want to be exposed to this again. Yeah, and so. you know, your memories, your pictures and family things can be washed away. Yeah, in a moment, and it's just such, it's such a hard thing because you hear it when somebody goes through a fire, which mm -hmm. I know you've experienced before, as far as your family has. And yeah. It just, the physical damage, mental, financial, emotional, it's just a whole yep. setback, a huge setback. Yeah, absolutely. 
So this is called the Coal Miners Highway. Of course, this is built on coal. No question about that. So if they're swimming neon city limits. Yeah. We'll return back and then about the middle of downtown, you can turn and make a left. So we'll go down that way and then show what we can. Sounds good. So hard it's to see this really cute house over there. Yeah, it is. Uh, that just bridge like, was totally washed away. I mean, it's just like Seco uh, that we just went to. The last time I came here, you know, you, it seems, you know, some things, it's obviously struggling towns, obviously, and all these cold towns are. Right. But then to see it get hit, it's like a dirty punch or something. It's like, wow, right. yeah, do we need any more? Do we need any more problems? Do we need more bad luck? It's really sad. But again, some people dig in and rebuild, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, flooding isn't like what they talk about being struck by lightning. Usually if you get flooded once, you know, it's something that happens periodically. Yeah. Even if it's not always a totally devastating flood like they had, you know, you always deal with some level of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. There's a lot of reasons these coal towns, they're built along water and, mm -hmm. you know, and it just happens a lot. And yeah, you, there's some places like Williams in West Virginia and maybe one of those places built flood walls on and this helped some. Grundy moved its old town. Right. So there's a fire department. It's brand new. It's like newest building downtown. Yeah. And here's the car funeral right. home. So let's go slowly through here. see if there's a place to park. One of these buildings used to be a Dawa Hairs and a what? A Dawa Hairs. It's a, it was a retail store, a clothing okay. store and stuff. I used to have the sign up last time I was here, but I lost on it now. But that's kind of a neat throwback to the old days. Well, it wasn't that old, but that was, that's so sad to see that library ain't washed out like that. I know. Family drug. So after the miracle of the GoPro sucking. <laughs> I thought you were going to say the miracle of editing like well, that's you it. always do. No, this is just a, we will never endorse GoPro. No, absolutely not. Have. Absolutely not. No. Probably the worst thing that ever happened to us. Yep. Okay, there's Brenda Baker, MD. Anyways, we've yeah. turned on this road that we said we were going to turn now. Yeah, we promised it earlier. So here's the neon post office. Mm -hmm. And... Again, there was a little bit of, and it, you, you can expect this. Anytime two towns merge, there's a, still a little bit of resistance in it. Yeah. And so that happened a lot. And these, so you still see people call Fleming or Neon or whatever, yeah. even even from after all this time. And Pirate go, Nation. They're see, pirates. There's the elementary school in front of us, but look on the hill, and it's the old Fleming Neon High School. Yeah. Pretty neat to see that up there, isn't it? Definitely so. And some kids out there practicing. Built up on the mountainside. Yep. Pretty neat. No, I could be wrong, but I'm wanting to say that that's not in use anymore. They combined Electric County High School, like there's a, a big consolidated school. Now, oh yeah, the high school looks pretty abandoned, run down, yeah. yeah. So I'm thinking that that's what's happened there is that I'm pretty sure after I've, I can go back to my old video, people cuss me out at the end. Last time I went to there, I'm serious. Like somebody, that was probably the meanest people I ever had was. The viewers are watching me on it. Oh my gosh, he's so dramatic. <laughs> he treats me this way too, you guys. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but what, it was actually one of the first videos that I did and I didn't know what I was doing. And some people. It was before I joined in. Right. Yeah. I got the error of my ways. <laughs> before I figured out the error of your ways. <laughs> yeah, you've, come, you've, cut, you've cut my errors by half. <laughs> Over to the left was the Ernest Tackett Fitness and Recreation Center. It's a good little thing to have. And this is Ernest Cole Avenue. These are more of your old, your typical coal town houses, right? Here. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Close to the road, built in the same floor they plan. They look like they say in the same. Yeah. Different so, colors. Fleming Neon is a popular area. I don't know what it is. It seems like a, a lot of people have heard of it or from here or have some kind of ties. Right. Because last time I we went through, I was surprised how many people wanted to watch it. The Lemming Baptist Church yeah. there. So you see a lot of one reference to Fleming, some to Neon, some to Fleming Neon. Yeah. You know, just don't get it real consistent. Yeah. 
and there was an old baseball field that just looked totally like mud so I don't know if that was from the flooding or if it wasn't in use even before that but you can see the debris on the side of the river from the flood damage and you can see a motorcycle passing me on, on a double line and he doesn't have on a helmet we do not endorse not wearing a helmet on a motorcycle or cross chocolate or whatever that is moped anything please wear a helmet and drive safe this public service announcement was made possible by the guy that just passed us on a motorcycle <laughs> yeah anyways but yeah here's like i said that was a lot of the coal townhouses right there so mm -hmm. it's a pretty neat name powerhouse church of jesus that's uh yeah kind of a coal reference but also obviously powerhouse uh, in Corinth Baptist Church. There's a lot of churches down this way. Well, faith was a big part of these coal towns That's for sure. Exactly right. It still is. Yeah, exactly right. So we wanted to show you this, show you the flood damage is still around, and then just that this is an important town in the history of coal for sure. So mm -hmm. I felt like we'd not be doing it justice. Well, that's kind of scary. You think, well, what's that electric? I was literally just thinking that. So that's like a power plant. Yeah. So what happens when a power plant gets flooded sure. with water? That, you know that is kind of right? like, and somebody that's involved in like power plants is probably like, you idiots, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but, you know. I think we'll turn on here. Yes. We're about to head out of town, so. Yeah. It's like an old general store looking thing. Or it almost looks like an old post office. Or, or yeah. It might have been the Fleming post office. I mean, I don't, I'm just speculating. Uh, yeah. And I watch videos back and I'm like, <laughs> I wish I wouldn't do that. <laughs> we both just go off half cocked after that. We do. Look at this house. Is that a house? Yes, it is. It is interesting, isn't it? He's not showing it on video, guys. I am too. Will you look at that? Would you look at it? Well, That's their dogs, impressive. Too. It is. It looks like a man, like a governor's mansion or something. Yes, it's huge. And there's a medical care office. I don't know. I wish I wouldn't do stuff like that. <laughs> That's just you know. But just speculating. We're not yeah. saying 100% sure of anything. So. Yeah. Exactly right. I can't. I guarantee you my name is Shane half the time, so <laughs> if you're listening to me and taking my word for everything, you better <laughs> say your prayers. We usually tell if we're talking fact or speculation, yeah. though. I'll give us that. Yeah. We do research stuff, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> you can't help it sometimes when you see something you don't know about. It's like, well, it looks yeah. like it might have been. Yeah, well, and being in a lot of old towns, you're yeah. kind of like, oh, that building looks like exactly. A or B or, you know. We've been to so many. Yeah. Like, when I looked at that, the first thing I was like, oh, it looks like Coretta's company store. Yeah. And then it's like, well, no, you're like you said, when you said post office, like, you know what, I can see that. Yeah. And it's like, looks like that house was an old duplex type where, because they had these two door and front doors joining each other. When I was kind of neat to see any of these old coal towns. I think it's cool to see the company houses. Like, you see a green, a mauve, a yellow, and a white, but they're all the same. Yeah. Like, they're all built the same, just different colors. Yeah, the only distinction would be the color. Really. I would love to, like, go back in that, Tom, and, you know, you know, some of the coal miners' wives were like, now Betty's house is green, and I don't <laughs> like that. I want mine to be white. Yeah. And... Yeah, it, that lifestyle had to be, especially when it was booming and it was just a great yeah. environment, like an optimistic. Good life. Yeah, people were, it was a come up for all these folks from these immigrants and, and, and a lot of locals. Uh, you know, they were making some money. Yeah. And getting into this housing, I mean, truthfully, in a lot of these places where, we're, I'm not saying Fleming Neon, I don't have any clue, but a lot of towns had like shacks and stuff, and so they built these nice houses. Yeah. So that has to be appealing to people. Oh, yeah. They were very modern in their time. also see little gaps here too where some of them have collapsed or burned or whatever and there's one right there that rubbles yeah and again it's another piece of history you can't build another one back up and you know this is irreplaceable these kind of stuff there's coal avenue cool avenue it sounded like you said cool that's cool coal cool coal there's city hall it's kind of 
you're stinging. Oh, yeah. It's like a little pod. It almost looks like a temporary yeah, thing. Yeah, I think it is, probably. Yeah, maybe they were damaged and with flooding. Yeah, it's set up some temporary offices. It almost looks like that's baseball boys that's out practicing on the football field. So that one that I said looked like it wasn't in use or it was damaged. I wonder if their baseball field got destroyed and they're doing what they can on the football field. That's right. They were wearing yeah. baseball pants. So, okay. again, just speculation. Well, but, we're holding you to that. But, you know, it, that's well, sad to think about. What's your confidence level of what you just said? I would go with 75% on that one. Really? You know, I really would, yes. Really? That is my final answer. I'm going to go back down this way one more time and then turn around because it's just, you know, you don't want to rush through these things and... We're not, there's not a really good opportunity to jump out and walk through here or anything else or something. Yeah. So. Yeah, I've, I've seen some debris and parking lots and stuff, so we got to worry about being far from home and flat getting a flat tires. tire or something. Yeah, the curiosity shop. I just hate looking into some places like that because last time I was here, I'm not saying it, it may be open, but well, there's a few more things going on than it seems to be right now. And it's just, yeah. and that's just been three or four years ago. There's some place called Neon Light. That's cool. And here cool. is the far department. Yes. Turn here, wrap this thing up in a second. Looks like maybe the rescue squad's there too. They've got some ambulances. So determined to see doll hairs. I can't, I can't identify it this time. I think last time I had a sign still up. Fifty doll hairs. I was thinking is that belt. It's J M Caudill. Sounds like something's dragging on your car. Don't tell me that. You're just getting in my head. It sounds like. <laughs> no. God so loved the world. And that sounds like a good time to say anybody that would like to donate, you can go to our patron <laughs> website. <laughs> Um, we, we might be needing a new vehicle. We couldn't make it without you now, much less when my vehicle is kaput. Absolutely. And as you will see, as you can look and confirm on my odometer, I'm about to hit 200,000 miles on this bad boy. Woo! Yeah, and the hard miles. This ain't easy, soft. <laughs> these aren't highway miles. These are, uh -huh. these are back road, back all road, our miles. Back road, flooded out roads. Exactly. To head back out of town here. Mm -hmm. You can see, but all these houses built up on the hills. I mean, there was a huge demand for housing at one time. This oh was, yeah. I mean, this was just a boom town. Oh, well, there's some smacking in. This is real. <laughs> this is real Sanford, son. Shane Melody in his car that's about to die. Well, let's hope you enjoyed this look at Bleeding <laughs> Neon. I mean, yeah, I was for testing you, testing you. <laughs> that's a wrap. Yeah, so we're finished up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let us know if you did. Yes. And we will we'll see, see you on, on down, down the road. road.